Right, that was yet more of Mr. McLaren. Now down to some good, honest rock and roll. I've got David Coverdale and Cozy Powell here with me. Right, David, I hear there have been many rumours flying around that you've had offers to join big name bands. So why stick with Whitesnake? Because uh, I'm very fond of the size of the name Whitesnake. Right. And you're sure it'll work this time? Oh, yeah, it was doing all right before. Yeah. Did you have much difficulty getting the lineup together? No, not, a, not really. Cozy was like the first, first one involved. Uh, of course, John was, uh, and Mickey have been with me before. Um, the bass player was a problem because we wanted someone with a lot of bottle to play with uh, Mr. Power when he comes in with the thunderous bass drums at all. And, uh, and Mel Galley was great. He was going to be in the original White Snake lineup anyway. Great singer, very fine guitarist, a great writer. Up well, to you, Mr. Power. <laughs> of course. Well, Cozy, you've been about a bit. <laughs> John? Um, was it an ambition of yours to join Dave and, in fact, White Snake, or did you just feel as though you'd run out of bands and, well, they were next on the list? No, no I mean, I was going to work with David about uh, three or four years ago when I did Rainbow, but I had a sort of commitment to, to stay with Rainbow at the time. And then when I left Rainbow, David had already got Ian Pace on drums, so I couldn't do it then. And then finally, I, after I'd finished playing with Michael Schenker, this goes on, folks, um, he said, he asked me again, this time I said I'd love to do it. So hopefully this, this, this will last a lot longer than the last couple of bands I've been with. Well, uh, David, I, hear, I thought that the idea of uh, you forming a new band was to get completely new blood in, you know, to get back the hunger. So why bring back um, Mickey and John? Because, they, well, John never lost the hunger. Mickey did at the end of 81. He's found it again. It's good. It's back to sensibility. I need to work with good musicians who inspire me to work, you know, and they, I've got a, a fine collection of players. Well, now, Cozy, are you going to give us any uh, secrets away as to what you're including in your next solo on the tour? I mean, how can you possibly beat the 1812 and the 633? Uh, I can attempt to blow the hall up, which is what I'm working on at the moment. I've got the uh, explosives guys from the parachute regiment coming along to the gigs, so with a bit of luck, if anybody's still alive at the end of this show, should be interesting. But you, you might be seeing that scene on the show, I think. So. Yeah, and you guys have got plans to crack the States then in the new year. Take it by the short and curly eye. Yeah. Well, and of course, the uh, new single, Here I Go Again, that seems to be quite emotional. You know, the soldier of fortune, the loner. Oh, yeah. Is there any truth behind it, perhaps? Oh, it's all true. It's all true. There's no bull in it. Yeah. And this is also the first time you're going to see the new band anywhere in the world. Yeah, so, I mean, is it actually based on experiences, your experiences, this, this song? Yeah. It's self-explanatory if, uh, if you read the words. Okay, well, it's nice talking to you both, and now you'll all have a chance to see the new video.